What if I told you that the internet is changing, being controlled, you are being monitored? The internet, a place of free will and flowing information sharing amongst people across the world. But there are those who wish to disrupt the flow of this free world. The Cyber Intelligence Security Protection Act, otherwise known as CISPA, was introduced on November 30th, 2011. CISPA quickly became controversial due to its open-ended wording and invasion of privacy. Put simply, CISPA would allow for government and private organizations to share information deemed relevant to a cyber threat. The problem here is that the vagueness of this act makes it easy to abuse when your private information, such as emails, text messages, and those Facebook messages you don't want anyone to see up for grabs. Another detrimental effect of CISPA caused by vagueness is that websites can and will be shut down for even trafficking cyber threat activity. An example would be Facebook could be temporarily shut down if cyber terrorists were actively using it to share cyber attack related information amongst themselves. CISPA needs to be rewritten to not be as open-ended, leaving room for interpretation and change of its original use. The act also needs to be recreated in a way that does not bar us from our own civil liberties. How can we stop CISPA? Well, technically we already have, for now. The act itself was shot down by U.S. Senate after passing the House of Representatives in early 2012. But the fight is not over. The Obama administration has stated that they will veto the act if ever passed. But with Obama leaving office, who knows what may be around the corner. Thank <laughs> you.